So the plan for today is that I want to follow this new Apple tutorial about developing apps with Swift UI. I want to follow it from scratch and kind of pretending that I don't know anything about Swift UI. So my intention is to get a feeling of how good the tutorial is and kind of getting a feeling of what things people may need to know before running this. I haven't looked at it at all, I just saw some tweets about it praising it, so I'm pretty sure it's it's very good. But I want to see, like, it's twofolded. I want to see what people may need to know before doing the tutorial, and I also want to see what kind of things I've been doing wrong for the past, I guess, more than a year now. And maybe what things I've missed and, and that kind of thing. So. I think I'm just gonna get started with this. I have to remember to do the roleplay, okay? I want to pretend that I don't know anything about Swift UI. So let's start with this. So develop apps with Swift UI. Create apps using Swift UI and Xcode. Build Scrumdinger, an app that keeps track of daily scrums. Ah, shit, I didn't even know that. <laughs> That's quite funny because I actually made an application to do not to do daily scrums though it was to do the scrum boating it was called scrum boats i think it was called uh it's long gone but it was pretty cool because i used the the how is it called multi-peer connectivity system like the one that uses local network with bluetooth and or local wi-fi and stuff like that and it was quite cool it was quite cool now you could like the way we used it in my previous work was we got a, like the Scrum Master used an iPad and it opened the app and it started the session and then everybody with uh, with the iPhone joined that session and like we went through every ticket and the Scrum Master could reset and start a new boating and then everybody just boat with kind of poker cards. It was quite fun like and the design was very simple and and, and quite interesting. But yeah, so this is slightly different. This is to keep track of the daily scrums, okay? I'm not sure. Well, I guess it's it's about entering what I did yesterday, what I'm gonna do today, and if I have some blockers, okay. So it's divided into chapters. Chapter one, it's Swift UI and Xcode Essentials. Okay, uh, it's like Five minutes for getting started and using stacks to arrange views. Fifty minutes, okay. So it seems like it takes a while. Like it's around four hours. So we're not gonna do everything today, but we may continue another day. Chapter two is about views. So I guess creating custom views, displaying them in a list, navigation hierarchy, the data and bindings, state management. I think this is gonna be super useful for me. Basically, because I've adopted so much the composer architecture, <laughs> like I kind of forgot how to do like bare bones Swift UI stuff. Oh, they're gonna include even persistence. That's cool. Twenty minutes. Pam 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 pam. Super fast persistence. And drawing, drawing a timer view, recording an audio. Yeah, you can even record an audio. That's cool. Okay. And then for the resources. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Let's let's give it a try then. So let's start. Let's see how we start. Getting started. Learn the essentials of iOS app development by building a fully functional app using Swift UI. Before you start the course, take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the background requirements, key concepts behind Swift UI, and the app that you will build. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess I can make this a little bigger, right? About this course, these tutorials are designed for experienced developers who are new to Swift UI. Okay, so you will need to know a bit about Swift before you begin. To start by reviewing the basics, and this links to what? To the docs, basically the, the Swift programming language. The basics. Okay, so they want you to know about constants, variables, type annotations. Printing, gone, semicolons, integers, yeah, all the basic types, safety, type inference, numerics, type failures, okay, booleans, tuples, 
Optionals, okay, cool. All of this is the basics, that's cool. I always wanted to make like a basic introductory kind of series of videos about Swift. You know, but I'm not sure what I can add. I think I, I have some ideas. Because I, like, I want to make a take of, yeah, yeah, this is the introductory for Swift, but on each topic I want to give you all the information I have, basically. Which may not be useful for people that start from scratch, but I don't know. You know that that's how I like to learn. Like, I want to give me everything. If there is something I don't know, I'm going to park it and come back to it later, but, like, give me everything. Because sometimes, like, people that it's teaching, it, it yeah, it fails to give all the information. You know, it's like, oh, no, this is too complex. Or, like, let me judge if it's going to be too complex. So you need to know that. And the language features, options, uh, review the closures. Ah, and they point you specifically to the closures. Self-contained blocks of functionality, closure expressions, okay, okay, yeah, I remember this part of the book. Capturing variables and values, reference types, yeah, yeah. This is another thing, like, if, like everybody that asks how do you learn Swift, my answer is never good <laughs> for people, because I always say, you want to learn Swift, go here, you start here. And you start reading. And in my opinion, that's the best way to do a first approach to something. Then you go and do your projects and watch your videos and all that stuff. But in my opinion, to get a first approach of something, I always go to the source. Always. That's how I've always done it, and it's my preferred way. Okay. Swift UI overview. So what is Swift UI? Is a declarative framework for building apps for any Apple platform. Okay, Swift UI to define the UI and behavior of an app using a single language and common API. To define the UI and behavior using a single language. Okay. I mean, makes sense. Create apps more quickly and with fewer errors with these key Swift UI features. Declarative syntax. Define the views appear on the screen with simple Swift structures. Your views stay up to date automatically. Okay. Compositional API. Quickly create and iterate your UI using built-in views and modifiers. Compose more complex views. That's that's yeah yeah love it. Powerful layout system. When existing views and controls don't suit your needs, you can draw your own. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I guess we're gonna do that by uh, later chapters. Views reflect app data. Define a views that define a views data dependencies and Swift UI automatically updates the view when data changes, avoiding errors from invalid view states. Delicious. And automatic accessibility port, super important. Super important. Okay. So let's do a tour of the app. Many software engineering teams use daily meetings. Yeah, too many. Known as scrums. To plan their work for the day. Scrums are short meetings, short. Short meetings, you wish they were short, where each attendee discusses what they accomplished yesterday, what they are working on today, and any obstacles or blockers that might impact their work. Pretty basic. This course guides you through the development of Scrum Tinker, an iOS app that helps users manage their daily scrums to help keep scrums short and focused. <laughs> Visual and audio cues to indicate when and how long each then Oh, that's cool. That's cool. The app also displays a progress view that shows the time remaining in the meeting and creates a transcript that users can refer to LOL. That's pretty cool. It's actually a useful a useful application. So the main uh, displays a summary of each of the users uh, the scrum, so you can tap row in the list to view the details. Okay, let's let me zoom. Can I zoom in here please? Please, please. Now, daily scrums. I guess this is an application for the Scrum Master. Okay. Scrum daily and edit. Can I make it? Okay, so that's the maximum. Okay. The detail view shows more information about a Scrum, including the name of each attendee and a list of previous meetings. Users can modify any of the Scrum attributes by tapping the edit button, tapping the start meeting button, and on the list, start a new meeting timer. At 
than this, no meetings, yeah. Meetings timer. The progress bar at the top of the meeting timer shows the elapsed and remaining time for the meeting. The app displays the name of the current speaker in the center of the screen and button to advance the next speaker at the bottom of the screen. When attendance time lapse, screen replace a ding sound and adds a new segment to the ring. Cool. Tips for success. Learn best by doing. Each tutorial includes started and completed projects. Open the startup project and complete each step of the tutorial. Yeah. See, like I'm not, I, I'm the exception because like I don't learn best by doing. Honestly. Because I found myself that when I when I am doing some things and you find some friction and blockers along the way, it disconnects me too quickly from the goal, like the, the thing that I want to learn. Instead, dude, I just sit down, relax, watch a point free episode and it gets stuck here much longer, you know? And then when I have it here, yes, you can go, you can play with it, whatever you want. But you know, I, I'm not one of these drastic people that is like, no, no, if I don't do it, I, I don't learn. No, I guess I'm the exception. Take an active role in your learning. Read each step and think about how you will accomplish the given task before you build the code diff. Make sure you install the latest version of Xcode. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's the first thing we need to make sure we have. 12.2, I'm not even, I'm not even sure if it's the latest. Code releases. Yeah, pro tip, don't go on the app store, just go here. Oh, point 0.3, oopsie. And I still have point 0.2, oopsie. Well, I guess I'm gonna do it next time. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it now. Um, start building, none of you have seen, it's time to build. Don't worry, you get stuck, you can build the code tips. Yeah, so you have the completed project if you ever get stuck, cool. So next, let's start using stacks to arrange. So we still haven't done anything yet. Okay. 